Today, the easiest way to do the Imanari Roll and to learn the Imanari Roll. The Imanari Roll is a fancy entry into a leg lock that was popularized by a guy called Imanari in, who was fighting in MMA in Japan. And after he started doing it, other people started doing it as well in MMA and in submission grappling. You've got guys like Ryan Hall going for it. You've got guys like Rory McDonald going for it. I believe it's even a move in the Electronic Arts UFC game that you can you know, pull off an Imanari. So, if it's in a video game, you need to know how to do it. But it's a complex move. The other day I was asked to teach this move to somebody who doesn't do that much inversion, doesn't do that much leg locking. So it was an interesting challenge because I had to find a simple, easy way to teach it. And I think I have found it and I'm gonna show it to you now. The core movement here is a sideways roll. You see this line here? I'm going to roll sideways. I'm gonna start here with my hands in front of me. I'm going to roll up onto my shoulders, and I'm going to go here. Then I'm going to roll back. It's just a roll over the shoulders. And I don't actually need to be super crazy flexible, because in the move, it's actually a little bit better if my legs come off the ground. You'll see what I mean. Richie, if you can come here for a second, please. So, I was rolling back and forth on this line. I'm going to do the exact same thing with Richie here. He's going to be standing on the line. My feet are going to be splitting his legs. So one leg, my right leg is between his legs, the other one's outside. I am going to go and get a shallow grip on his leg. I don't want to go deep. I don't want to go deep to the elbow. It's going to stop me from spinning. I'm going to just put my hand here and I'm going to do that same shoulder roll. We're here. But because my leg catches here, in the end it ends up redirecting the movement. When I'm here, I can of course go to the 411 or I can go directly to the heel hook. So let's do that from another angle. Richie stands here, please. So I am inside his legs. This is the movement I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go here. Except I'm gonna do it with one leg in between his legs. We're here, here, this leg comes high. My legs are high, it catches. Now one leg is high above the knee, the other is behind the ankle. I can, of course, just go to the reverse heel hook here. Or, if he's much better, or if he's a better leg locker, I would probably try to solidify this first into the 411 and then go with the leg lock. Let's just quickly troubleshoot this a couple of times. I think some people, when they're doing this move, they start trying to do like a breakdancing spin. Like, Something like that. And although the full Iminari, stand there please Richie, the full Iminari typically, I'm just shooting here, a leg goes inside and I come here, it's gonna have more of a forward direction. This sideways spinning motion is uh, a much easier way to learn it. I also want to avoid having my legs low. This is not an Iminari. Leg low here, here, this is nothing. He's just gonna lift his leg out and be gone. My leg needs to be high. And finally, another common mistake that people make, I alluded to right, alluded to it right in the beginning. Just turn here, please. So they go super deep with here. Now this is a, certainly a solid position if I'm going for a knee bar, but the trouble is if I wanna spin all the way through, my head is gonna end up hitting his foot. So I don't want to be too deep. I want to allow my head to pass in front of his foot. And I can't do that if I'm deep to the elbow. So we're here, legs are high, some space between his foot and my head, here. From here, it's child's play to take him down, solidify, or tap.